All right, so this is the Odroid XU4 car pewter. And the first thing you will notice about it is that the screen slides down so that you can have access to your air conditioning vents. This is a Ford Ranger, and I designed it specifically so that it would clear these two nubs right here and slide up and lock into place so that I could still use the volume control on my deck and get to all the controls and the hard buttons here. I added a double 2.4 amp 5 volt over here because I just happen to have lots of 5 volts in the dash now that I have an adapter for this guy. My audio adapter is here, headphones out, aux basically connection, and also your line in and microphone connection in case you want to talk to Google. And then we're starting up with car launcher here. Car launcher obviously has all the good stuff plugged into it. We're going to go ahead and do some Pandora. And we also have uh, um, Spotify on here. And you can see that works quite well. And it's also integrated with Car Launcher here. So if we want to, we can change tracks with Car Launcher. You'll notice we have our visualizer over here plugged into Car Launcher. We get our speed over here. We got our Google button in case we want to talk to Google. We get the weather, the date, the time. Everything's all here. And then if we want to, we can control our volume right here from this screen rather than controlling it with the stereo itself. Right? We can also get us some maps from here. Get to where we need to go. It also talks through the stereo for the maps. And uh, then we also have ways on here. A must have for anybody driving mobile service. See, it tells us where we are. Again, we can talk to it, tell it where we want to go. It's all voice commanded. I'm going to go ahead and shut it down for right now. And there's all your apps there, just the stuff I've managed to put onto it so far. GPS test, so you can see all these satellites locked within three seconds of starting this thing up. Uh, the little GPS pod is absolutely amazing. The little G Mouse GPS, absolutely amazing, super fast stays locked on better than any GPS I've ever owned and then of course we have internet connected system here so we can just do just for giggles we'll go to Pandora of course it's going to take us back to the app we can also go to YouTube which we also have the app for that and we're just going to play whatever video here so we got Raspberry Pi video, that looks good. Look at the cloud, it's just someone else's computer. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech, and today I am going to be showing you guys how to build your own cloud. So let's See, get started. build your own cloud. Digital for sending me these two hard anyway, all right, we can jump out of there, you can do games. Uh, it's also got OBD2 engine diagnostics through torque. So if we see here, you can see my revs in real time. We have real time gauges and information. I don't have the sizes set right on them right now, but you also have other screened, individualized custom screens that you can go to for other gauges. And you can do quarter mile times. You can see all kinds of different engine system information from this. You can check your fault codes. I have a bad O2 sensor right now. Heated, heated oxygen sensor switch, upstream heated oxygen sensor switch is bad. Uh, this is also the same, it's the same thing. It's a run lean because we've got a bad O2 sensor here. Uh, but yeah, I mean, all of this information from Torque, this is the, obviously the paid for version of Torque. And this is also the paid for version of Car Launcher. Um, two things I, I strongly recommend getting if you're gonna build one of these. Uh, obviously, I threw Cody on there in case I want to watch some movies on the go, stuff like that. Um, definitely don't watch anything or manipulate this thing while you're driving. You are bound to get into some trouble, but other than that, build it on up and have fun.